What's up, PV fam? I hope all is well with everyone. Before we get into this video, I have a few disclaimers. Um, I'm new to vlogging, new to doing this YouTube thing. And uh, just like everybody else, I'm gonna make mistakes, but there's gonna be a few shots where my head is cut out, but you get the gist of what we're trying to do. I also have to do these voiceovers throughout the video because my neighbor's dog would not be quiet. They were barking the entire time. So as I'm watching these videos, I'm like, God, you can barely hear what I'm saying because the dogs are barking so crazy. But nevertheless, getting ready to get into this unboxing and the setup of our 360 booth. All right, the unboxing of our 360 photo booth. It comes with a uh, like lug luggage style type case. And man, this thing is definitely uh, of a nice size. Ours can uh, fit uh, two to four people on it, I believe. It was the 100 centimeter one that we ordered from those guys. Um, it's wrapped pretty well. So it's taking me a little bit of time to uh, get it all, the bubble wrap off and stuff. Um, I would definitely recommend when this thing needs to be transported to a location that you have two people i wouldn't do this by myself me i'm a little bit more meatier bulkier guy so and even that i'm i ain't gonna necessarily say i'm struggling but it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely not a anything of light it has some wheels on the bottom of it to where you can roll it around but i think we still might invest in a uh some type of dolly especially like when my wife goes out with it and uh she has her help with her whatever they may need it and uh yeah so there's like these two latches that are like a uh, luggage latches luggage latches on the uh front of it um uh, trying to twist it around here to find out exactly how to uh get them open they're a little bit different than uh the, the normal luggage latches we would have but you gotta kind of like you can't see it in the actual shot because of the camera angle that I have the camera at. But you have to actually turn the buckles and then lift those, lift them up. And here we go. Our 360 photo booth is open. Um, the case is definitely well uh, made. It's nice and sturdy. Um, it has a uh, good cushion in it to protect the uh, 360 photo booth. Got some instructions here. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to set up the 360 photo booth once we uh, get it outside of the case. We got a bag full of goodies there. What I like to call the uh, Bernie bag. Definitely telling my age with that. We got a uh, RGB ring light that came with it. But we'll just save it as a backup. We actually have one that we invested in. Uh, it's like a square RGB light. It's a whole lot better according to reviews. We'll do an unboxing of that and install that as well. But for right now, we'll just utilize this when we set it up. Got some props here that came with it. We'll probably use those for the kids. They'll get to check them out at the birthday party. Um, as you can see, use as my take on the how to use a box cutter. <laughs> you know, you can hurt yourself for sure if you don't use it correctly. In the background, you can see some some of the decor that my wife is working on. She started setting up for the birthday party. And uh, if you ever wanted to check out her decor, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And she'll be doing and uploading videos on the decor that she does for different events. So... 
after getting the 360 photo booth platform out of the case i got it standing up i unwrapped all of the uh things that were wrapped up with all the bubble wrap and i just didn't see any purpose in getting that stuff on film uh, but this right here is our platform and it's it came with a custom logo and we had to bless it with the positive vibes events and decor logo so that way it's all about branding so that way everybody every time it's out we had a very good branding on it it gave us a uh a floor mat so that way that the uh platform can sit on top of it i was thinking that it went on on top of the actual logo but once i did more research and after discovering that it's actually for the bottom not the top but right now i'm going to use it as a protective cover while i uh install the pieces on it we got the barney bag again right with all the goodies inside of it got some m8 screws that probably go for the arm pieces it looks like we have some M16 screws as well. We got the legs or the feet to go all the way around. We have a uh, iPad and tablet holder. Got a power cord. Our particular uh, 360 booth is motorized. It's not non-motorized, so that's a plus to it as well. Some people like the non-motorized. I figure we get the motorized and step it up. That last attachment was, uh, looks like an attachment for the power cord. We got the ball that goes on top to, it goes inside of the uh, ring light and they were two of them I thought one was a uh, extra one but it actually was for the iPad holder which I probably won't even use our iPad holder because we're gonna have an actual additional monitor where people can see themselves in a 360 photo booth I don't think that actually having the iPad in front of you is gonna really serve a purpose Especially being when it's moving in a 360 motion. If people just see themselves on there, they'll know how to pose and rock. You got two remote controls right there that's to actually control the 360 photo booth. And this piece right here is the arm attachment for the iPad or tablet that goes on the uh, actual longer piece which you will see in a future video clip this right here is the smartphone holder attachment that goes inside the ring light as well and all those items came inside the Bernie bag we got the uh, LED strip, li strip lights right here that comes with the remote and it has a attachment on it it didn't come with batteries because after talking to my good friend skyler who uh was uh, our vendor of our photo booth she said that they couldn't send batteries overseas because of customs so i had to go and buy batteries of course and then here's the ring light that comes with it again we'll be using that to set up but we have our one we have our own that we invested in so and that's the unboxing of the pv event and decor 360 photo booth we're gonna set the legs up and i'll be right back with you Now that we have it all unboxed and got all the pieces out, we're going to get ready to get into setting it up to see exactly how this thing works. 
I got all the uh, legs installed on it, except for my last four. So I just wanted to put those on film so you can see where they go. All the legs only can be adjusted to level out on whatever surface that you're on, which I think that's pretty cool. So that way there won't be any imbalances because you know when you have two to four people on it, one side might lean and there you go. The whole thing tips over and now we have a, uh, an issue with the equipment. So next we got the uh, base of the control arm, but they want us to actually flip it over on the other side before we put it in. But as you see, I was a little bit confused as to why they wanted you to do that. I ended up still doing it that way, so I'll be right back with you. Flip the uh, platform around, so we had to flip it around and put the main arm in. And they want you to attach four of the M8 screws. So as you can see, I went ahead and I went ahead and slid the piece in there and adjusted this adjusted it according to how I wanted it to be in there. Again, there was two uh, MA screws in the front, two MA screws in the rear, and you have to line it up to make sure it's being threaded correctly. All right, once you got one side in, you move over to the other side and just do a hand tight to get it nice and snug. You don't need to over tighten it. You might strip them out and definitely don't want to do that. Because now you have a whole an additional problem as well with that. It's a little awkward the way that you have to put the MA screws in it. But once you get them in there and you get it lined up, it, it goes pretty well after that. This thing is uh, built very well. It's it's some it's well it's steel. It's nice and solid, so you can actually get the people on there that you need to get the people on their weight the weight limits. So next we uh, got the bottom base of the control arm in. We got the next part where uh, the uh, power bank goes, and you have to line that up, and you can basically. Get it, adjust it to exactly where you want it to be at and you use the MA screws again two on both sides that just to attach it and get it in there I'm gonna turn it around so that way you can kind of see you control it where you want it to go at depending on the height of the party or the area the space that you're utilizing course you're using an additional two of the uh, M8 screws it takes a little bit to line it up and get it threaded it was I was having a little bit of issues with that of course this thing is brand spanking new so at least you know it's not used so once you cracking open the M8 screws and you're trying to get it lined up and stuff like that it's gonna take a little bit it even smells new so it's just like having a new new car or a new toy Things take time, so if you just bear with me here, and I'll get. After taking the MA screws back out, I had to realign it to make sure it was in there correctly because I didn't want to strip it out by it being misaligned. So I got it in there, it's nice and sturdy hand tight again the upper arm and you have to insert it in there and of course you use the M16 screws and you can just adjust the height to where you wanted that put one on the right side one on the left side and you do this a total of uh, four times feel as though once it uh it's all the way put together and I do it a few times. We'll be pros at it. But again, this is our first time setting this up. So you guys are setting it up with us, which I think is pretty dope. 
it's always good to take take a journey with people and let them let people learn as as you learn because that's what life is about now the last piece is out of the frame of course because the camera wasn't set up correctly but that was the top piece of basically where the ring light the ring light would attach to it and you know like where your uh, smartphone will go it's basically the same exact thing there was four more screws of the m16s and you put one two on each side left and right and adjust it that way a little bit better my wife was uh doing other things getting things ready for the party doing more things in the backgrounds but she noticed that the camera was out of frame at this particular point so she decided to come over and help her brother out let's see you have the m16 screws they go in and once they're in you just hand tight them okay you see all the the core that's in the background you got the party table and such the nine the mosaic nine is what she calls it or what it's called um if you want to see more of her doing videos on her decor make sure you leave a comment down below and she'll definitely be uploading really really soon but she has specials going on right now with her balloon garlands and balloon decor for prom and graduation season so all right we're pulling out the ring light to attach it to the top of it of course it's out of the frame again it needed to be adjusted but as you can see Once it's installed, we'll go to the next slide. Again, you can adjust the uh, ball that the actual DSLR or your smartphone will sit on to, it can be a cousin to where you need it to be at. You can play with all of that good stuff once you get on there. And then there's a like a cord that comes down and it goes to a power bank now the power bank isn't included you have to buy that additionally and basically the power bank is, this is what gives power to the ring light and it just connects to a usb here and after you have to turn it on with our power bank we're going to do an unboxing with that as well to go along with the square light so the 360 booth was just the initial uh, cost. We had to buy additional items to add to the initial cost. Things like the power bank, the additional ring light. We got lights that go on the outside, RGB lights, stanches, and all that type of thing. But nevertheless, we have light connected to the light ring. the led strip lights well basically i just dry set mine but you have to start according to the directions you have to start at the dc outlet and just take them all the way around so basically what i did was i just dry set in mine and start to get off and if you know anything about these led strip lights from install them anywhere in your bedroom or anything like that um that double-sided tape can be a pain in the butt getting off and once you get it off you can start installing it um you could put some rubber alcohol around it so that way it'll stick a little bit firmer but the way that this steel was made is it was sticking just fine so i didn't have to do that uh, they look to be waterproof which well they are waterproof so that way when you're doing the, uh, any events outside it'll be protected they look pretty well made so now you just I finally got the double-sided tape off, so now you can just start sticking them around. Waterproof, so if you ever outside in the rain and it starts to rain, it's protected. And you might get into an incident where it starts raining, and you're like, oh man, you gotta get this 360 booth out of here as fast as possible. That's one thing you gotta be aware of when you're in business is there are problems that are going to arise, and it's all about how you react to them. 
Are you going to sink or you going to swim? That's the name of the game. So as you can see, I continue to install them. But let me ask you a question. For all my people that own a 360 photo booth, how's it working out for you? Leave a comment down below. Which brand do you got? Where'd you get it from? How's business going for you? Just a few questions I like to ask. You know, I know it's a community out there. You know, this is our first one. We're excited about it. Well, just want to know how's how's it going for some of the other 360 photo booth owners? Did you buy from overseas? Did you buy American made? Do you have more than one? You know, those type of things. Leave a comment down below. Again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll definitely be having more tutorials coming here. Again, this is our, we're new to vlogging, not our first vlog, but this is our, like our third or fourth vlog or something like that. So we're new to it. We're still trying to get comfortable, but there'll definitely be more. And the next one will probably be either an unboxing of the additional items that we got or it's going to be with the kids for my son party or my son on this thing we're going to test it out we're going to show you about touch picks and that type of thing the software that we use to get it going but once he have his friends over here they'll let us know how it goes you know kids they're very honest they they never hesitate they tell you just how it is they always tell you always tell you like it is Especially the little ones. We have a little one. And he'll definitely tell you how it is. Along with our our nine year old, he'll be nine year old, nine years old. He'll definitely tell you as well. So, cause like again, our channel is just basically to inspire somebody and get through their day. I watch YouTube videos all the time in my downtime or when I'm just not doing nothing. You know, I, I get a lot of inspiration from other vloggers on here and. That's, a, that's essentially what we're trying to do here with our page. It's just, you know, be social from a distance with people through the Internet. You know, this is our lifestyle, entrepreneurship and travel page because we like to travel as well. We have plenty of those type of vlogs coming as well. So, but this is what we all about. Positive vibes. Hence the name of our two companies. We all about that. Especially with so much negativity going on in the world and shit not only in the world but locally in your city or in the state so but we getting there and the install is just about finished of the rgb lights rgb led lights so now we have the remote that you have to buy your own batteries for and there's another attachment that goes into it. it looks more like a splitter attachment that goes into the led lights and of course you got the attachment that goes to the led lights i'm going to clip that in first it just clips in It should clip right in, but of course you got to adjust yourself and got it clipped in and tuck it under there. Again, I'm going to have to zip tie that on there for security purposes. And you take the extension of the splitter, plugs right into the white part is the uh, LED lights and the other black part goes into the base DC motor, which is the motor. So now we should better get power to both of them once we get the power pack attached to it. We got the last piece, almost last piece. And you plug that in, of course. And that part will go to your outlet. So next we'll install the smartphone attachment and the uh, iPhone attachment so you can see how it goes and see where it goes. And we'll power it up and 
this should pretty much wrap up the 360 photo booth setup. All right, after playing with the uh, attachment for the smartphone, then again, this is my first time doing this. I was having some trouble with this, so I couldn't exactly get it how I needed it to be, but you get the gist of where it goes. It just actually connects to it. And once I got it how I needed it to be, it was all good. Bloopers, all bloopers. It actually wasn't all good. I had to take it back off because I didn't have the right piece on there. I had to put another ball joint in there, I believe. And I was trying to get it adjusted. So I ended up having to start the shit over. <laughs> so you had to install the ball joint on top first, and then you install the smartphone attachment to it. That was the problem that I was having with it. And then you can adjust it if you wanted to go portrait or you wanted to go landscape. So after the little blooper reel that I had with messing it up, finally got it together and got it installed. All right. Next, we're gonna attach the uh, iPad tablet holder. That's a bracket that goes around the uh, arm, control arm, sits nice and snug, and then you just screw on the iPad attachment. Now this thing, we again, we won't be, we won't be using this. This is just for setup purposes. I won't use it. It looks pretty secure. But I don't know about even trusting it for real, but I won't be using it, so I just have to set it up just to show you guys how it goes. So we had to buy our own batteries for it because they can't ship them through cousin. So my good friend Skyler told me the type of batteries to get. We had an A23 size battery. I've never seen this battery, never purchased this battery before. So I went out to my local store and grabbed it up. And you just install it in the back of the remote, of course. Everybody should pretty much know how to follow directions and install the battery. But you'd be surprised. And then the next step, we had the uh, remote for the LED lights. Again, we had to buy a battery for that as well. So we had to get the... It's a 2025 battery. And of course the positive side has to be up once you pull out the uh, slot for it to sit in. Pull that out and got it in there. Just push it back in, got a nice snack. So now we have the remotes going, getting ready to plug this puppy up and see what we got going on here. Got it plugged up. And we got lights going to it. And we got the remote. The lights just automatically came on, maybe because it's the first time. And you can play with the remote and change the colors on it. Thought that was pretty neat. You can make the colors jump to different colors. It's pretty, pretty sweet. I'll turn on a use your power button to turn it on and turn it off as well. We have a speed button to speed it up fast, slow it down. And you can also make it go in reverse. Definitely well built. Definitely money well spent thus far. I think it's pretty sweet. And that right there, my friends, is how you set up a 360 photo booth on the first try. <laughs> we'll be back with more footage from the birthday party. Peace.